So I think what we're finding ourselves in at the moment is an epidemic of violence against trans people. But I think what comes with being trans and gender non-conforming outside is that the difference maybe between that and, and how uh, cis women experience harassment is that ours is coming from all sides. We are often harassed by not just men, but also women and also children. Just yesterday I was on the bus and a group of school children came on. It was a really packed bus and all of the teachers were making the students have to go next to the adults that were in single cubes. And none of the kids wanted to sit next to me. They would all point and kind of awkwardly thing and then you're just there and you're pretending you can't hear it and you're in your headphones. And then the kid that sat next to me was then laughed at by all the other children and the teachers did nothing. And I heard the kids say, why has that man got eyelash, coloured eyelashes? Why has that man got lipstick on? Oh my God, look at whatever kid's name was sat next to that man in a dress. And these are kids of eight, nine years old. And I often think that to be trans and gender non-conforming means that you're accustomed to everyone having open call on your body outside. But not just that, there's a silence surrounding that attack that no teachers then sat up and said, that's not okay, they pretended not to hear, they looked around and the teachers pretended they didn't hear and suddenly were like, everyone be quiet. But that wasn't the same um, response that I think we would see if a different body was being harassed. Because I think what happens when we see gender non-conforming people outside is we victim blame them already for the violence we experience. We say, here's this person outside and they've chosen to look like a freak. So the world will treat them like a freak and that's okay. It, it permeates into your whole, all of your life. You, you know, how many trans people I know suffer severe anxiety, uh, mental health issues, um, spend loads of money on, public trans on private transport in order to feel safe. But people are saying we're in this moment of trans, trans visibility and what I'm wanting is a moment of trans invisibility. To go outside and everyone just ignores you. That would be so nice. I love to like just go to the shops in all these like amazing looks and just be able to get my milk uh, but I think it comes back to this idea of what a world would look like if trans people were celebrated is that the streets would be so much more interesting but also I think there would be more of us I know there's so many people whether they use the word trans or cis or whatever that want to play with how they look you know, I get on the tube in the morning and I see these men in suits and they tell me that they're going to work, but I see them in drag. I see actually the real fakeness is these men in these suits looking unhappy. And I see me across on the tube in an incredible outfit, in colorful things, and they're staring at me and they're calling me a faggot. But really what they want to say is that I'm jealous.